all right welcome back in this video we're going to talk about four point editing all right so in the previous video we uh, already know how to use three point editing so right now what is four point editing so basically four point editing is a combination of three point editing but we just added one additional um uh flip clip or something so i'm gonna show you how to use it so uh welcome back inside of the premiere pro make sure that you're in the editing workspace and reset it to the save layout you know how to do it and all right so we are on the on the three point editing sequence still three point editing you know how to use three point editing now we want to do a four point editing so basically a four point editing is if you want to set up in point and out point in your timeline or in your sequence all right say for example we can we can press the letter i here and then we press the letter all right we press the letter o here all right so basically we want to add a clip in this uh in this part of the sequence all right so let's try to uh, find a footage here all right and uh let's try to find a footage all right say, say for example you want to put this in your timeline all right so let's try to press i all right there you go now uh the fit clip dialog box will pop up all right this is interesting and this is your four point editing okay because we have in point and out point in your timeline sequence now you have different option because in the timeline we have we set this uh we set this up all right and we don't we are not sure how long is this clip and we're not sure how long is this clip too that's why it's asking if uh if this clip will go into fit on this um, in point and out point so we have different option the source is shorter than the destination all right this, this is the source this is the destination and they're not the same length all right so there's going to be a problem because uh premier pro having a problem how to fit in those you set the in points and the out points and how it's going to fit in that all right so we have options here so change the clip speed to fill uh, to fit the fill all right so th if this is longer and if this is shorter uh it will be added but it will make it faster or or uh, slower uh or slower slow motion just to fit on these uh, on the in point and the out point that you set up all right so change the clip speed we have ignore the source out point and we have ignore the source sequence in point and ignore the sequence out point all right so these are your options so let's say we uh, want to change the clip speed let's click ok boom all right now the uh, in point and the out point added here so let's try to play it all right so it make it slow all right the video has a slow motion because uh, the uh, this clip want to fit in uh, on this uh, in point and out point since it's longer than this so the video clip uh premiere pro automatically make it slow motion all right so let's uh, look for the speed of this speed duration you see uh the slow motion for 49 percent slow motion just to fit in the in point and the out point on the sequence timeline all right that's why so let's cancel and let's command uh, let's undo it all right undo it okay now let's say we want to um, set in point here and we set out point here by pressing o and as you can see this is six seconds six seven one two uh all right basically i don't know how much seconds is this all right but we want to uh put some video again here let's try to uh drag it by pressing the letter i all right now let's ignore the in point All right, so ignoring the source in point, this is the in point. So if the if the uh, Premiere Pro ignore it, so meaning uh, they're going to fit in starting here. So all of the footage from here up until here, and then once going to fit in here, all right? So if the footage, say, it's longer. All right, so let's try to cancel this one. And I'm going to try to remove everything so that you, you will get a uh, better understanding. So let's see. Um, all right, so we're gonna start for zero, and let's try to set uh, to set in points here, and then let's set for the in out point for uh, two seconds. All right, two seconds, two seconds out uh, out point. All right. Now let's say we're gonna set here the uh, in point i, and then set the uh, out point here. All right. So it's one second. Let's try to make it um, 
uh, three seconds, all right? So you have three seconds in the source clip. We have uh, two seconds on in point and out point in the timeline. We have two seconds. We have, uh, uh, we have, um, we have, how many seconds is this? Uh, we have three seconds in our source monitor, all right? And we want to drag it in here. So if you press the letter, uh, uh, if we're so if you press the comma, all right, if we're gonna ask you the source is longer than the destination, okay? Because it's, this is three seconds, this is only two seconds. So we're gonna change the clip speed uh, to fill it up, boom, all right? So uh, it make it, all right, let's try to uh, check the speed. So. The speed is 158%, so he make it, uh, Premiere Pro makes it uh, faster just to fit in on this two uh, second in point and out point clip, all right? So that's how you use the uh, the first one. Now let's undo it. Let's try the, okay, let's press the let, uh, the comma key again. Let's try the ignore source in point. We're gonna ignore this one. All right, click okay, all right? So he ignore it. He ignored the first part of the in point uh, he started to fill in using uh, the uh, out point. All right, so basically it's here, the out point. This is, uh, this footage was uh, added on the timeline. All right, let's see, all right. All right, and then that's two seconds. Now, this is two seconds, one, two seconds. So basically this clip was not successfully added on the timeline because he ignored it, all right? This one is, was ignored, all right? Now let's try the uh, next one. Um, let's undo it. All right, we have in point, out point here, and we said in point and out point here. Let's try to insert it one more time. Uh, this time, let's try to ignore the source out point. All right, click OK, source out point, and then click OK. All right, now uh, the first two seconds is only one, or two seconds, and this is uh, three seconds. He is going to ignore, or Premiere Pro will ignore the out point. All right, so he will start from here, one, zero, and then one, two. All right, so since he's ignoring the last point or the out point, uh, the, uh, this, this part of the clip, uh, this is the only part of the clip will be added on the timeline. All right, as you can see, let's play it. There you go. So this part was not added anymore. All right, so let's undo it. All right. Let's try this, insert, ignore sequence in point, ignore sequence out point. So basically, if you have uh, clips on the video, so if you have clips in the in the timeline, all right, let's try to add a video first here. So let's go into add this clip, add in clip, uh, let's change clip speed, all right, and then let's try to add another clip. Okay, we have two clips now here. All right, see. All right, say for example, you want to uh, set in point here, and you want to set out uh, an out point here, and let's try to um, uh, bring this uh, clip again. Let's try to uh, press the uh, comma key. And then let's ignore the sequence in point. Click OK. Boom. So the uh, the sequence in point, as you can see, I put here the in point for in the sequence and the out point in the sequ sequence. Since I, uh, I since I choose the options to ignore the sequence in point, so the the, the video clip was added. It was starting on the uh, out point. All right, because that was the option. Now let's undo it and let's try the uh, the last the, ignore the sequence out point, all right? So if we ignore the sequence out point, we hit OK, there you go. Uh, before the out point is in here, all right? So he started to put the uh, video here starting on the in point because he ignored the out point, all right? So basically that is your four point editing. So one of the advanced editing techniques inside the Premiere Pro to make your edit faster. All right, I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for completing this video. All right, and see you in the next video.